Yo, what's up, guys? So Chandler Sane here, partners with Gino Palomba. You might have seen him on Instagram. You might have seen him on the TikTok ad. You might have seen me on the ad. I don't know who you saw. But anyways, what we do is we wholesale real estate. We'll do about $4 million in gross profit this year. And just to give you a full understanding of what we're doing on this call is, first off, before we even get into the call, I want to thank you guys for being here. So it'll be about 10 minutes of your time. And you know, I'm going to tell you exactly what we're going to be doing in the level of mastermind, like what service we provide, who we target, how much it costs, and give you guys hopefully a little bit of even some value today on this time here. So we'll get right into it because I know that's what I would want if I was watching this. Um, so that way I don't waste your time. If it's something you, you want to work with us or you don't want to work with us, it's okay either way. Worst case scenario is I can give you guys some value. That's what I'm here to do. So what is the level up mastermind? So what we do is we are taking businesses that are doing roughly 20 to 50K uh, and doing bringing them up to 100K plus per month. And that's really what we, we just did it. We did 1.8 million last year in gross profit. And this year we'll do about 4 million, four to four and a half million. Uh, and we've done it in these three main ways, right? So there's three main business constraints that we had to release. We'll go over those. Number two is we've increased our deal size. So, you know, you can either get more customers or make your customers worth more. It's how you can make more money. And the other one is also like, you know, as the entrepreneur, we are, the always will be the bottleneck of the business. So we have to break through our own limiting beliefs. And that is a major, major, major thing in this program. And not even just in the program, just in general. Like if you want to be better at life, you got to break through your own limiting beliefs. And I do it every single day. I break our limiting belief. So what is this place even, what do we even uh, consist of to kind of give you this just from a quick and dirty, a high level, uh, there's a six month program, uh, the seven figures, of course, you can stay in after if you would like, um, uh, we have private online community on discord. Uh, we have three zoom calls per week. Uh, and we also have a monthly ROI meeting just to see where your business is at and what's the next thing we can break through. So moving on. Um, so who is Gino and who? Who is Chandler? So who are we? So Gino, he's a CEO of uh, our wholesale company, Frosty Assets, and he is 23. And I am Chandler Sane, obviously COO of Frosty Assets. And we co-founded uh, Level Up because we wanted, we realized we were kind of good at this wholesaling thing. Obviously at 23, doing uh, multiple millions of dollars, uh, we kind of wanted to give back and help people out and um, you know, other ways to get to the same thing we've done. So we have about 32 ish employees. They're all fully virtual. The reason I say 32 ish is because we're hiring like a handful of people right now. So I, and honestly, I'm just, I should know this number, but I don't even know how many we have. I think it's for between 30 and 35. Um, so I put 32 to just to be on there. Uh, anyways, for 2022, our target gross profits, 4 million. We should beat that. Um, but that is our target, uh, actual gross profit for 2021. Again, this is last year, all year was 1.8. So not too bad, big jumps in between, but we did hit about 150 on average per month last year. Um, so again, another big thing that I really think is important is that we are doing deals. So as the market changes, as things evolve, as new ideas come out, as business just, you know, it always is changing. It's always, how can you flow with the market to take advantage the most? We're going to be there. We're going to be right on the pulse because we're not stopping doing this. Our goal for 2024 is to do $12 million. So that's a million dollars a month. You know, you break that out. That's like 30 to 35 deals a month. Um, so, I mean, that's a good amount of work that is getting done. So we will have our hands and fingers on the pulse of the market and the newest strategy. So probably even thinking like, can even some 23 year olds actually even get us results? And there's some basic testimonials. Uh, Chris just sending some things about how he, coaching helped him get a major breakthrough um daniel down here hired an acquisitions person commission only he locked up 100k in five days uh roshan got his big assignment last week as a six-figure deal that's fat um and then logan also just saying like how you guys went to zero to hero pretty quick um and just appreciating our help so just trying to give back obviously everyone's got their testimonials and here's a little bit even more um and really like all this is, is just going through some people who've had good success in the six months that we've been doing this coaching. And again, the reason it's a small sample size is because we want to make sure we can fast track as many people to success as we possibly can. And now that we've gotten a good system down, it's time to, you know, spread our wings and uh, help some more people. So the biggest number one thing 
to be one of these people who we've helped get from 35 to 135, 40 to 100, up to 120, 160, 150K per month is no ego. You have to be willing to learn and to get out of your own way. So obviously we're not, I, I, not every, I don't know everything, but I d- have done this multiple times with a lot of other people. So if myself, Gino or Ryan or any of the other coaches say something, it's probably because there's a good reason for it. Now, that doesn't mean I have good discourse, but just saying no ego is most critical in this thing. So again, in six months, we've specifically taken three companies and about 30 to 40 X their actual company annually. So 30 to 40 X of what they were doing before. So like you double every month or you triple every month, three times 12 is 36 X. That's pretty big. Um, not to mention the 25 other guys who just started grinding the way at the ladder to get to that hundred K a month. So this can be done. So the hardest part of wholesaling and, and the reason I'm getting into this is just cause this shit's hard, man. So we took all the lumps, we paid the money, you know, everyone says that, but we paid hundreds of thousands of dollars. Um, we spend literally like 12 to 15 grand minimum a month on education just this year alone. Um, and honestly, we built a great community of people who are all on the same mission. So it's, it's, it's a very valuable resource. Again, your net worth is equal to your network. So one of the big reasons, and we're getting into the growth constraints here and kind of like a little bit more of the tactical work, but there's really three main things that keep you from growing. And this is kind of the the idea that we want to teach, right? Is one, you might just need to get better at wholesaling, which, Hey, that is a very, very underrated thing. Getting better at wholesaling is massively important. So we have things for that. Number two is you need to do more marketing. And and this kind of works in a funnel. So once you get better at wholesaling, now it's like, oh, shoot, now let's get better at marketing. Now let's not get better. Let's do more marketing because now we have the capacity to convert on these opportunities. Third is once you do more marketing, you're going to realize how many more people you need. And then this is when you start to become into a business. And this is when you start to make major breakthroughs and also want to bang your head against the wall sometimes. And that's where we're here to help. So let's say, number one, you need to get better at wholesaling. Uh, What do we do? for you guys. So most people struggle in sales and marketing. Uh, so, you know, they either can generate, they can't generate enough leads, um, or they can generate too many leads. So, you know, people kind of are on the side of, yeah, I, gen- I have all these leads, but I can't close a dang door or I generate not enough leads because I can close anything that breathes, but I just need more leads and more opportunities, but I just can't figure it out. Um, so the bottom line is we got to get the, get better at wholesaling. Um, and that just means to get better at marketing or get better at sales. And it's not necessarily just better at wholesaling, but there are wholesaling specific strategies, right? So for sales improvement, we have these four things. So there's also a couple other things there that are not listed, but we give you our entire sales process that works virtually or in person that, you know, we've taken from people like Steve Trang, John Martinez, Tiffany High, Eric Brewer, all these different guys who absolutely crushed the game. And we've kind of meshed into one that's worked for us really well. Uh, number two is we have weekly sales training with Gino, low key, the sales king, uh, three lead manager specific trainings every four weeks. And then we have acquisition manager specific trainings every four weeks as well. And you'll understand a little bit more about what that is at the end, but it's one of the director calls that we have. Also, we have all these resources, scripts, everything that's not even listed there in the, uh, in a location for you guys all to have access to, uh, the other side for the marketing training is when we have the ops call where we go over marketing stuff uh, with myself. Two, we have a marketing specific call every four weeks where our marketing director hops on, teaches you guys what we're doing. Three, detailed recorded trainings and scripts for marketing sources, just as there is in sales. Um, also, we have all the documents for onboarding. So like, if you want to train a texter, we literally give you a document that we train our team with and you train them. If you want to train a cold caller, we give you a document and you train your cold caller. And it's pretty plug and play. Also, we teach you how to hire those people too, if you want. Um, the other side that you need to do more with marketing is... Once we get good, again, we're getting good at wholesaling now. It's like we got to get get at the top of the funnel bigger because now we can convert all the way through. Like now we understand how to do sales. We understand all this stuff. And a lot of people, and again, back to this other side, like mo- a lot of people are good at wholesaling. So like, m- oh, wait, I skipped slides for me. Hold up, let me go back. Um, sorry, went forward instead of backwards. So a lot of people are good at sales and marketing to begin with. And if you're there man, it's going to be quick for you getting moving forward. And I mean that not to say in a way to like get you excited, but 
you should be excited because if you are good at wholesaling, then man, to go from where you're at, if you're stuck at 40, 50, even 30, 40, 50 to go to a hundred, or if you're stuck at 70, 80 to go at 150, it's pretty dang easy because all you got to do usually is open up your marketing funnel and the, you get more leads in there. Therefore, you know, again, a visualize a bigger top funnel equals bigger bottom funnel, right? So what we do in there is we teach you how to scale outbound marketing channels, how to manage inbound marketing channels, how to track KPIs and make powerful decisions and how to get deals from long-term follow-up in your CRM. That's really, really important. About 25% of our appointments come from those long-term follow-up things. And also KPIs are literally how we choose to do anything. If you don't have a number telling you that this is what's happening, you are just making a decision. You might as well be choosing like this, man. You got no clue. So all these things encompass into basically creating a better funnel for your business to get contracts signed. And again, contracts signed because right now it's a seller's market, so you can sell anything, but that might be changing. Uh, and we have things for that on the rise. So uh, once you kind of get marketing at the top of the funnel increase, you'll realize that, man, um, there's a lot of problems on the bottom side of this funnel because we're getting stuck. Like we have all these leads, but we still get the same amount of contracts. And that's where you have a bottleneck. So this is where hiring, onboarding, training, meetings, and leadership all come into play, right? So how do you hire more people? How do you onboard these people once you get them in? What do you do to train them, to get them up to speed? What do you do with your meeting cadence for accountability and all this kind of stuff? How do you lead your people? How do you inspire them to do more, to be better? All that thing, all those things play into releasing bottlenecks. Now, one of the highly underrated things is simplifying your business. Doing less is typically going to result in more because when you have a simple process that is repeatable, your team not only is going to do it more accurately and they're going to get better at it because it's all they do. So they're going to become masters of the process when you start outsourcing your work. And ultimately kind of like alluding to this last point is you're leveling up from your skills do, from doing the work to having other people do it for you, which is a higher value skill because you have more leverage. So in this part of the phase, we want to operate with more leverage in our activities which means that how can I maximize my hours worked, if that makes sense. So again, just a very simple exercise. You're up here and you, well, let's just say you're here, you call every person. You're the person who's doing all the closings of the deals. You're, you're, you're the salesman, you're the acquisitions rep. Boom. Now you have five acquisitions reps underneath you and you're the person teaching those five guys how to close deals. Do you think you're going to get more or less deals than when you were doing it alone? You're probably going to get more. I don't need, you don't even answer that. That's an easy one right? But that's what I'm talking about is so a leverage activity would be training those five guys and not just you going in and closing deals and them just being there. It's you pouring into them. That is leverage because you're working five to one instead of one to one. If that makes sense. And again, I just leave this definition in here because I heard it one day and I just thought it was brilliant. All scaling is, is just having other people do all the work you used to do, but the people do it just as good as you once did. So does that make sense? So let me say that again. So you used to do all the work and all scaling is, is having other people do each bit of that work just as good or better than you were doing it before. And that is scaling. All right. So the other way that we can, uh, you know, get you from the 20 to 50 to hundred K plus range is by increasing deal size. So, and, uh, we have, we've made a masterclass actually on this entire topic, how we increased our deal size from 25 K in 2021 to 45 K in 2022. And, and we did this by paying sellers more, which is kind of freaking crazy. But there, there, there's an entire like three hour, it's two to three hour video um, that you'll get access to. And it tells you A to Z, how do you acquire the customer and how do you sell the deal and how do you work it through title and get it to the closing table and get paid. And, and, and I know like it says like dispositions here and that's truly all it was is we broke a limiting belief on the acquisition side and we got better at dispositions. That's all. There was no crazy paperwork. We double close when we listed on the MLS. And again, the reason we were able to sell it for more is because we sell it to the best buyer. We're selling on the MLS. So when you, you, know, you guys are selling at 75 cents or, you know, ARV times 75 minus repairs. And that's like what a buyer will buy it at. We're selling it at 90 to 95% times ARV minus repairs. That's a pretty big difference, right? There's no complex paperwork. We're just double closing. So transactional funding, we got all that stuff taken care of for you. I will tell you how to do it, how to get it, yada, yada, yada. And, and another thing too is like, man, we had an epiphany. It's like big deals are just as hard as little deals. Um, like <laughs> how many times, like we did a deal one time for $300 and 
And it was one of the hardest deals we did. And then we did a deal for a hundred thousand dollars and it went so silky smooth. Now that's definitely not always the case, but they all deals are hard. So you might as well do fat deals. All right. And breaking limiting beliefs. I know this is super, super, super basic, but it is literally the number one reason we are where we are. And, and, and if you really think about it, like, imagine like, you know, and you guys maybe are in the same boat, right? Like you probably don't think wholesale companies can do like more than maybe, maybe 500 K a month, right? Like there's some people out there like Carlos and Sal, they're doing a good bit of business, right? They're kind of big. Um, but when we met our mentor, who's doing like 25 million a year, and then we met another guy who makes him look like he's a little dweeb and this guy's doing 4 million a month. Like that's 40, that's like 50 million a year. That's a big business. I mean, anything over 10 million is a big business, but 25 and like 50 million, that's pretty impressive. So basically it's saying that, Hey, look, this is single, these are single family asset companies. It's not like they're big multifamily guys. So to be able to do that kind of, those kind of numbers and this kind of industry that we're in just tells us we just aren't good enough. They know something we don't know. And that's what we're working towards. Right? So the limiting belief is really just like the, the reason like this is so important is because when, as soon as we realize that that, that kind of stuff can happen, like you can do two, three million, four million dollars a month. It's like, man, we're doing a hundred K. Like this is like this epiphany was probably, it was like right around when we did our first hundred K a month in 2020. And it was honestly just like, wow, like we suck. Like we have a long ways to go. We have a lot of stuff to learn. And, and honestly, it's just really, really, really great. Um, so another like really big limiting belief I talked about, and, and this is just for myself too. Um, it's kind of like allowed us to really turn a big corner um, in, in our business is like with our last strategy that I talked about with increasing our deal size. It, this is kind of the pivotal moment is, and our mentor was the reason we even did this is I had told a seller, you know, the whole time is like, I think a seller is literally going to freak out if they find out we're selling the house. Obviously we know that's not completely true, but it is a fear. So I had to tell the seller, like this deal is either going to die or we're going to be able to do it. And this is the only way we can do it is if we have 14 investors come out to your house who aren't, who are going to buy it. One of them is going to buy it, not us. Uh, and I had to give them a list with their full names. Obviously I framed it differently, but the point being is I told this guy we weren't buying it. And I sent him a list of all the names of people who were probably going to buy it. And he said, all right, let's do it. And for me, that was like all I needed to, to change my outlook on what we were doing. And, and people also think about this too, is like these guys, these companies like open door and offer pad, uh, literally they sell every deal to other people, not every deal. They sell a lot of deals to other people, probably about half to other hedge funds, to whatever they, they're not the buyer. So why, why can't we do the same? Um, and this continues every day, right? Every single day. It doesn't even matter. So this is like a small exercise and I, I want to give some value here is whenever I say like, if only I could do X, I would have Y, or maybe like, I can't do this. Then I always take this second. I, and I let's call it asking myself better questions. And I would encourage you guys to do the same. And basically what you want to do is you, the first question is simply like, why not? Like, why not? Or maybe it's like with no limitations, how would I accomplish this? Like, let's say in a perfect world, how would I accomplish X? What, what are my first Roblox? Break it down into bite-sized pieces. And what you're going to do is you're going to ask yourself this question. You're sitting here and think, and you're going to be like, I'm not quite sure. But eventually after thinking long enough and asking yourself different questions, like it, what the bite-sized piece of what's my first roadblock? What's the first thing keeping me from getting Y? Like I have X, or if only I could do X, I would have Y. What's the first thing keeping me from doing X? And if you can identify that, then I, I'm telling you, you'll knock that wall down. Then you'll find the next wall, you'll knock it down or you'll go around it. Maybe you'll jump underneath it, jump underneath it. That makes no sense. Maybe you'll jump over it. Maybe you'll duck underneath it, whatever it might be, but you're going to get around it and you break it block by block by block. And I promise you, you will knock that limitation over in a split second and it'll become human nature and you will go so much further, so much quicker. So those are big ones. So some other things too, is like, and I get off the, my little soapbox of, um, limiting beliefs and you know, you're your own constraint of the business. Like you're holding your back. You're always going to be the person holding the business back. Like that's just reality. You are the top 
whoever is the top will always hold the business back because the business can only be, the business will never be better than you, right? If you hire people who are truly better than you, then you might as well not be working in the business. And most of us are not going to have that luxury. So I'm going to give a little bit about our community here. Everyone's doing a variety of deals, right? So we got John down here on the bottom. He's doing self-storage conversion. He's another one of the guys who's got to 100K a month and he's like crushing in commercial now. He's got all kinds of crazy commercial buildings where he's like renting out, uh, you know, subdividing the thing, like an apart, uh, like a commercial building in like 20 lots or 20 units and renting them out by unit and cash flowing them a lot. Ryan hit 170K plus in May um, so with some creative deals and just flips and just, he's just crushing it. We're here to solve problems, obviously. That's a big part of the the Discord. And also, also like notice, like it's not just me and Gino answering all these questions. Like these guys are, it's a community where everyone is here to help each other. Again, we're all on the same mission. We're all working to do things bigger and better. So here's a couple of things. Dwayne asking if there's anyone will buy in tenants in a county. A boss works in uh, Gwinnett County, which is in Atlanta, which is also where we're at. Logan's here asking something about skip tracing. Um, anyone have a recommendation of list, skipping a list? Max is asking about this situation, uh, given the owner EMD, like how do you handle this objection? Getting answers, all this kind of stuff, and they can go and implement the solutions. So it's great. Uh, another big part is just being able to network together, right? Literally, you need to connect with someone who is doing something similar as you. Maybe it's in the same market. Maybe it's another market. Maybe they're just doing flips. You know what I mean? Literally doing something so small as this, well, one, you get great friendships from masterminds and networks and communities like this. A lot of my great friends have come from this. Um, and then also you're going to get better because you can have these deep conversations like one-on-one -on -one where, you know, let's say, um, you know, Mike and Rodman were to talk, right? Well, if Mike and Rodman talked and they had a lot of good conversations about flips, then I guarantee you they're going to get some value from each other and they're going to move forward together. So I just really want to recap I know it's been about 20 minutes. I said it would take 10, so my bad. Um, but I appreciate you for staying on this long. I just really want to recap what all we're going to be uh, you know, covering and doing uh, part of this community and how we're going to help you get from the 20 to 50K up to the 100. And really, like, the goal is, it's like, there's no, like, yeah, dude, it's going to be emotionally great. But, like, it's also got to be somewhat logical too, right? It, I want you guys to be able to figure this out, take what we've done, and then replicate it. Uh, into your business. And we've seen multiple people do it over and over again. So I know you guys can do it. And this is why we've structured the calls the way we have is because, you know, the three things is the first thing we got to make sure everyone's good. We got to make sure everyone's working on the, down the funnel to get to the people and process, which is more of the strategy operation stuff. So we get the sales calls so we can mash your sales. Cause if you have sales, that's the lifeblood of your business. If you get contracts signed and you sell those things in the deals, literally every single time you're going to make money. That's just how you make money in the business. You have to be great at sales operations. That's my call. You know, so Gino's got the sales. I got the operations. We handle hiring, training. Uh, we can do literally anything, marketing, dispositions, sales strategy, follow up, you name it. We can do it, whatever it is. Then we have our director calls. These are the directors of our whole wholesale company. So the marketing director, lead management director, acquisitions, dispo. And, you know, they are the ones who are more active, who are, know the nitty gritty, know the little details like, Hey, how do I move this thing around? How do I do that? How do I do this? I came up against this strategy or this, this roadblock. How can you help me specifically choose the way to overcome this? Like what's a workaround that you came up with? How are you getting more from your CRM? How are you getting, um, higher? How are you up, up, nego up negotiating? Are you negotiating up buyers? Um, whatever it might be. And then. And it's super, super impactful. So 30 minute strategy session, uh, again, 30 minute strategy session with me or, or Gino, right? Where you sign up. So once you get on boarded, we're going to do a 30 minute strategy session where we're going to basically go through and how I kind of outline those three key things to, um, to get you better, uh, to, to release your bottlenecks. Um, we're going to kind of identify where's your focus point. Is it to just get better? Hey, like, man, you honestly suck at sales. Like you gotta, you gotta learn here. I need you to go watch these videos or is it maybe, Hey dude, everything looks great. We got to get more. We got to get that top of the funnel built out. So here's what you need to do. You need to go scale this and then this is what's going to happen next. So I need you to prepare for that. And then bang, there it is. Um, and that's the goal is to be able to give you some simple, actionable clarity after that call. Um, and then obviously we have the community discord with other guys who are on the same journey as you. Um, 
and the goal would be to connect you with as many of those people as possible. So, you know, we have a entire chat where you introduce yourself, who you are, where you're from, what you do. And, you know, that way you, people can reach out and you can net connect from there. So the ultimate big question that I'm sure you're asking is just how much does this cost? So we have multiple options up from 10 K to 45 K. And that's not for me to tell you in this call, but what I do want to tell you is that there are, uh, if, if you're not sure about the money, but you know, you have the work ethic and you know, you have the tools to go from the 20 to 50 K up to hundred K. And that's what we're here to do, to be honest. So we'll figure out a way to make sure you get this knowledge. And I don't want you to be completely baffled by the large amount of money. Cause I know it is a lot, especially if it's your first time ever investing into education. So bear with me. All I can ask is that you hear, um, Ryan out on the next call where he's going to go through a little bit more in depth of what we do and kind of present you like the package. So, um, but again, at the end of the day is like, we, we've spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on education and we're here to give back all the information that we've learned, all the field experience and wisdom we've gained. I know it's weird to say wisdom from a 23 year old, but it truly is wisdom. And sometimes that is what counts, right? So I always try to learn from anyone. I love talking to people who are like in their sixties because they know so much stuff that I just don't know yet. And that's what I want to do is just, I want to know everything. I love learning. So I want to give that back to you guys. Gino's on the same page. We both want to give it back. We want to see you guys grow um, and have all the amazing things you've ever wanted in life, whether that's freedom, whether that's, you know, the sports car, I don't know what it is, whether that's you know, kids in a new house out with a lake view and a boat and all that kind of stuff. But whatever it is, it's the goal, right? Um, and then think about it. One extra deal a month, like that's pretty easy, is 20K a month, right? Let's let's say your deals are kind of small. You're in the Midwest, 20K. That's 240. That's a quarter mil per year. Um, so, you know, it's a pretty sizable ROI for not really a major return. So just put that in perspective. It doesn't take much. Like we don't need to be hitting home runs here. We don't need to be doubling. We just need to be getting like one. If we can just get one deal a month, you're getting 20, 30, 40 K depending on your deal size. If you're in California, maybe even doing like 80 K rips all the time. So think about that one deal at a time. If you take it one deal at a time more then eventually that will be two and eventually that will be three. And that's the idea. So that's how it stacks. And also here, like I know we talked about Chris a little bit earlier, but Chris was actually the first person who we ever took on. And when at the time he was 30 to 35, maybe 40 K max per month. I think he was 30 to 35. And when we started, it took about his fifth month. Like literally it was his fifth month. We did the math back. He did 135 K in that month. And ever since then, he's been 150, 120, 180, 150, all the way through. And it was really just as simple as these three things is you identify the bottlenecks, you ask questions about those things and you implement the fix. And then all you do is you wash your hands, rinse that thing off and then repeat it. And you say, where am I, where, what's holding me back from growth? And this is going to baffle you, but I'm going to give you guys a major thing right here is there's this, it's called the theory of constraints. There's one thing at any given point in time. That is holding you back from growth. And, and I would love for someone like to, to have a debate about this because the way that it would works is you have one thing holding you back from growth and then whatever it is that's holding you back the most, something else may be holding you back a little bit, but it's like, think of it as like an elastic band. So something is really holding you back. Like it's preventing that band from popping up. So when you release that thing that's preventing you from popping up, then what happens is the next thing that's holding you down becomes the, the, the constraint. So you release the biggest, heaviest, biggest lever constraint. Then the next one becomes the biggest, he biggest, heaviest constraint. And then bang, now you're even higher. And then you get the next one and you're even higher and you're higher and you're higher. So that's why all it is, is you're identifying bottlenecks and constraints, whatever is the thing holding you back. So I literally every day, well, not, not quite every day, because sometimes I know, and I just need to implement. So there's phases, but almost every week, every day, I'm asking myself the question, what is holding us back from growth? And so I can get the one actionable thing in the short term and the long term. So I know like what's the short term going to be like waterfall down. So I, I'm, I become more wise and can be more strategic. But in the short term, what is my one thing that is holding me back? And if you can answer that question, then you just ask, hey, Chandler, hey, Gino, uh, this thing I need, uh, I can't get enough contracts signed in 
you know, I think it's like, I'm getting like 20 appointments a month and I'm only getting like one contract. Oh, well right there, bang, that you tell us that scenario. And we're like, well, bro, like it's because you should be getting four or five contracts signed from that many appointments. So we got to go and dive into a little deeper in questions. So, you know, how good are the appointments? What kind of appointments are you setting? What's that process? Blah, 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 blah. And then once we get that, we'll be like, okay, it's easy. We've identified the problem. Now here's what you do to fix it. And then now you just go and do it. And then that'll be bang. Now it's ready two weeks, three weeks later. And then now you just went from one contract to four. And right there from that one thing, you just tripled quadrupled your business by just asking a question to yourself is what is holding me back from growth or what doesn't seem right. Maybe it's not even what's holding me back from growth. It might be a hard question to answer, but what is, what doesn't seem right? What seems off and be curious and then literally just do that over and over again. So, Hey man, no pressure, but truly, if you feel like you're ready to invest yourself and join, you know, I would say probably one of the youngest groups of, um, pretty, pretty good entrepreneurs, then, you know, go click below, um, and sign up for an appointment. It's no, like you, no obligations at all. Um, the worst thing that can happen is we say no, and we part ways and, you know, maybe you see us on Instagram and I can give you some free value on there too. Uh, and Gino the same way. And I mean, I just want to be clear. We don't take everyone. Community culture is the golden ticket. So like that is a key. Um, so if you're a dirt bag, please don't be a dirt bag. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm sure all of you guys are all awesome. Um, and, but ultimately, man, I appreciate all of you guys' time. And I really, really, really look forward to seeing you on my 30 minute strategy call. And I know Gino feels the same way. So I'm echoing it for him as well. So truly here to help. If I can ever be a service, reach out to me on Instagram, uh, reach out to Gino on Instagram. That is two underscores in there. Gino double underscore Palumba. And if you ever have any questions, we'll be, we'll be in there to answer. Um, so thank you guys look forward to it. Peace.